click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hi guys, today in this particular video, we will complete our DC analysis numerical part. That is, we will complete fifth numerical of DC analysis which is based on FET. See guys, here in this video, we will try to learn the DC analysis of FET as well as BJT in the combined form. So this numerical is based on DC analysis of FET as well as DC analysis of BJT. So here we go. So this is our circuit. See here 91k and 22k is nothing but the input base current as well as gate current in a combined form. right? And this node which is common for 91k and 22k which is connected to gate of JFET as well as base of BJT. 3k is drain terminal resistance. 1k is emitter terminal resistance. Now, source of JFET is connected with collector of BJT. All the parameters, rating parameters of JFET and BJT are given and what they ask us is nothing but all the DC values at all the terminals. That means to find VDSQ. So all these terminals, let's say this is first, this is second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth. So these are our findings and we will go through step by step. In this video, you will get to know that even this circuit is looking like a complex circuit, but this is not actually. You can solve it for 10 marks very easily within 10 to 15 minutes. So here we go with the first DC analysis. There will be confusion that whether I should have to start with JFET DC analysis or BJT DC analysis. Keep this in mind in a clear way that at this particular node, whatever current is flowing through base only because I know that this IG is equal to zero, right? So if you apply KCL over here, whatever current is coming that is going towards base side only. So we can easily say that 91K and 22K are nothing but the base resistance. So I can easily form a Thevenin's equivalent circuit and then we can find out the value of IB first. So that will be our first motto to have DC analysis of BJT and then we will move forward step by step. We will redraw this circuit for DC analysis of BJT. And then as usual, we will apply the Thevenin's theorem. Okay, so by applying Thevenin's theorem, we can easily find out the value of VTH and RTH first. So do one thing, we will apply the formula
What is the value of VTH? VTH is nothing but 22K divided by 91K plus 22K multiplied by total voltage that is 20 volts. Calculate the value of VTH. Similarly, we can easily find out the value of RTH. 91K in parallel with 22K. Come on quick, pause your screen and calculate the value of VTH and RTH. And RTH is 0.5. Now I will form a 7 inch equivalent circuit. Let's forget about whatever is there in the circuitry at collector terminal. Forget about that. I just have to need to find out the value of IB and for that we require the input KVL. And here we go to find out the value of input KVL with RTH and VTH. Here it is 1K that is emitter resistance. VTH minus IB into RTH minus VBE minus IE into 1K is equal to 0. Right? I can modify this equation by putting the value of IE is equal to beta plus 1 multiplied by IB and then whatever IB I will be getting that is IB is equal to VTH minus VBE divided by RTH plus 1 plus beta times 1K. So just put these values of VTH, VBE, then RTH and beta. Just calculate the value of IB. Pause your screen, take a short span of time and calculate the value of IB. So this is the first finding that we came across towards the solution. This is nothing but the IB. Q I can say. Now to find out the value of ICQ, ICQ, you all know the formula, beta into IBQ. So if beta is equal to 100, whatever value I will be getting that is nothing but 2.687 milliampere. So, so we reach towards the ICQ. What is the value of IEQ? Nearly similar to ICQ only but if you want to correct answer you will get 2.713 milliampere that is nothing but the value of IE. I will require the value of IE to find out the value of VE. Now we will again come to this particular circuit diagram basic circuit diagram in the question. See this value is IE okay this value is IC can I say that IC itself is nothing but the value of ID yes so we have got two answers ID is equal to IC right IB we have already found out IE we have already got that is nothing but 2.713 milliampere here also we will be getting the value of ID because IG is equal to 0 so our already so I think all is done we are reaching almost all the values. IDQ is equal to ICQ and this is nothing but 2.687 milliampere. Right? We already have, what do we have? We have IDSS is equal to 8 milliampere. Right? VP is equal to minus 3 volts. Do we have the equation of the current? Shockey's equation in j -fit? Yes, you can use that because ID is known to us, IDSS is known to us, VP is known to us. You can just have to calculate the value of VGS. So just do one thing, put the value and get the answer of VGS. whatever VGS we are getting is minus of 1.26 volts.
if your answer of vgs is well below the value of vp then and only then it is possible that you are in a correct path so we have got the value of vgs we can easily find out the value of vs as well see you all know that what's the value of vgs vgs is nothing but this g vg and this v s this is vg and this is vs vg minus vs is nothing but vgs right i can say that vg is itself the value of vth right so i can say that this is equal to vth and we all know that what's the value of vth we already have got the value of vth right and we can make use of that the value of vgs and vth so that we can easily get the value of vs So you put the value of vth and vgs we can easily predict what will be the value of vs do not make mistake by just taking 1.26 here we have to have minus 1.26 so i will have to have around 5 point something here don't do the mistake by just taking 1.26 here you have to have minus 1.26 see 3.894 minus of minus 1.26 it will come out to be 5.154 volts so this is the value of vs now the magic is If collector is connected directly to source of JFET, whatever source voltage is there, I can say that VC is also same value. So you can say VC is equal to VS is equal to 5.14154 volts. Great. So the value of VC is equal to VS is equal to 5.154 volts. Great. Now we will reach towards the final findings VD, right? If you know the value of VD, then we can easily go to find out the value of VDS because we all know that what's the value of VS? VS we have already got. So VS. Okay. VD is equal to DC voltage that is 20 volts minus drop across the drain resistance that is nothing but 3K multiplied by ID. So this is a very fantastic job to get the value of VD. So the answer is 11.94 the value of vd is 11.94 great vds that is one of the finding and vds is equal to vd minus vs is equal to 11.94 minus 5.154 volts this is the value of vds q very easily right now the last part remaining is the value of VE. VE is nothing but the value of current flowing through emitter resistance and the value of the resistance that is 1K. So you can easily get that 2.71 milli that was the value of IE and 1K is nothing but the emitter resistance. We can easily get milli ne ke komardia. We can get 7... 2.71 is the value of V. Okay, let's come to the question part again whether we have missed one or two findings or not. The value of VDS, the value of VDSQ, yes, we have got it. Value of IDQ, yes, we have done. ICQ is same as IDQ. IBQ, that was the first step. VGSQ, yes, by Shockey's equation, we have found out. <coughs> VD before VDSQ we have found out the value of VD VC yes that is nothing but the value of VS and VE that was the last finding that was remaining so we have done all the findings and we will get almost 15 to 10 marks within 15 minutes of time
Thank you so much for watching this particular video. I hope you have enjoyed a lot. For more and more numericals and concepts and videos, you have to subscribe Ikeda channel. Thank you so much.